The Life and Sad Ending of John Lithgow John Arthur Lithgow was born in Rochester, New York, on October 19, 1945, to Sarah Jane, an actress by profession, and Arthur Washington Lithgow III, a former producer, and director who owned the McCarter Theater in Princeton, New Jersey. He is of mixed ancestry. Lithgow went to Harvard College and earned his bachelor's degree in history and literature in 1967. Later, he earned a Fulbright scholarship and went to study at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. John Lithgow's career started in the theater industry. He won the Tony Award and the Drama Desk Award for his role in the Broadway production of David Story's The Changing Room, in 1973. A year later, he portrayed James in Robert Moore's My Fat Friend, as well as appeared as Laertes in Michael Rudman's Hamlet in 1975. He appeared alongside Meryl Streep in Arvin Brown's directorial venture, a memory of two Mondays in which he portrayed the character of Kenneth. Lithgow received a nomination at the Tony Awards for Best Actor after his performance in the teleplay, Requiem for a Heavyweight, and later, another nomination for M. Butterfly. In the early and mid-2000s, Lithgow appeared in two critically acclaimed roles on Broadway. The first one was in the Broadway adaptation of the 1957 film, Sweet Smell of Success, in which he portrayed J.J. Hunsecker at the Martin Beck Theater. He won a Tony Award for Best Leading Actor in a Musical for his performance. In 1966, John Lithgow married Jean Tainton, a teacher by profession, and had a son named Ian David Lithgow. Their son is a clinical psychologist and an actor by profession. An affair between John Lithgow and actress Liv Ullman created a rift between the actor and his wife, and eventually, they ended their marriage in divorce in 1980. A year later, Lithgow married Mary Yeager, a history professor at the University of California, Los Angeles. The couple has two children together, a daughter Phoebe and a son Nathan. John Lithgow's first appearance in a film was in 1972, as John, in a Paul Williams directorial venture, Dealing, or the Berkeley to Boston 40 Brick Lost Bag Blues. Four years later, he portrayed Robert Lassell in Brian De Palma's psychological thriller, Obsession. He then appeared in films like The Big Fix, All That Jazz, and Blow Out, before appearing in George Roy Hill's comedy drama film, The World According to Garp, in 1982. He portrayed the character of Roberta Muldoon and appeared alongside Robin Williams. He was nominated at the Academy Awards for the Best Supporting Actor for his outstanding performance. In 1984, Lithgow was again nominated at the Academy Awards for his portrayal of Sam Burns in James L. Brooks's directorial Terms of Endearment, 1983. The film was an adaptation of Larry McMurtry's 1975 novel of the same title. He portrayed the character of a physicist, Dr. Emilio Lazardo, whose body was inhabited by an evil alien, in the 1984 American science fiction romantic adventure comedy film, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. He played the character of Reverend Shaw Moore, a pastor who talks against the art of dancing in the film Footloose. In the sequel of 2001, A Space Odyssey, which was titled as 2010, Lithgow played Walter Kerno, a space engineer. He later portrayed an evil toy maker in the film Santa Claus, the movie, in 1985. During the 1990s, he appeared in numerous films, playing supporting roles. Some of the popular films he appeared in during this time were Memphis Bell, at play in The Fields of the Lord, Raising Sawin, The Pelican Brief, Cliffhanger, A Good Man in Africa, and A Civil Action. John Lithgow has appeared in almost 40 television shows and films in his career. After appearing in numerous minor roles, he received his first regular role in a television show in 1996 in Third Rock from the Sun, 
a sitcom that gave the actor wider recognition in the show business. John Lithgow's role in Bonnie Turner and Terry Turner's science fiction sitcom, Third Rock from the Sun, was his greatest success as an actor. He portrayed the character of Dick Solomon, the high commander of an alien unit. He won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Television Series Musical or Comedy in 1997. He further won an American Comedy Award and three Primetime Emmy Awards between 1996 and 2001. In 2004, he appeared in the British-American television film, The Life and Death of Peter Sellers, a film based on the life story of comedian Peter Sellers. He then appeared in Bill Condon's American romantic musical drama, Dreamgirls, alongside Jamie Foxx, Beyoncé Knowles, and Eddie Murphy. In 2005, he appeared in the comedy musical, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels by David Yazbek. He was nominated at the Tony Awards for the Best Leading Actor in a Musical. The stage adaptation of American playwright David Auburns, the columnist, earned him another nomination at the Tony Awards for Best Actor in a Play. He has also appeared in a stage adaptation of Arthur Wing Pinero's, The Magistrate, the Broadway revival of Arthur Miller's, All My Sons, and Shakespeare's, King Lear, by Daniel Sullivan. John Lithgow has contributed a lot towards children's entertainment, including writing books and composing music albums. He was nominated at the Grammy Awards four times. Ogden Nash's The Christmas That Almost Wasn't earned him a nomination for Best Spoken Word Album for Children, and the World According to Mr. Rogers earned him a Best Spoken Word Album nomination. In 2005, he was nominated for the Grammy Best Spoken Word Album for Children Award for his humorous musical suite, Carnival of the Animals. In 2007, he received another nomination for his album, The Sunny Side of the Street, in the category of Best Musical Album for Children. He portrayed the character of John Mason, in the American sitcom, 20 Good Years in 2006 as well as appeared in TV productions like, How I Met Your Mother, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, and, Drunk History. In the crime drama television series, Dexter, Lithgow portrayed the antagonist, Arthur Mitchell, in the 2009 season. He was named by, Rolling Stone, in their list of, 40 Greatest TV Villains of All Time, at number 34. In the Netflix original historical drama web television, The Crown, he portrayed the first Prime Minister of the UK, Winston Churchill. He played a significant role in the show for two seasons and was nominated at numerous award shows, winning several of them including a Primetime Emmy Award. His character of the serial killer, Arthur Mitchell, famously knows as the Trinity Killer, in the crime drama series, Dexter, showcased his acting ability to portray a very dark character. He was the main villain in the fourth season of the show and won a Satellite Award in 2009, a Golden Globe Award in 2010, and a Primetime Emmy Award in 2010. Lithgow's portrayal of Winston Churchill, in the historical drama web television series, The Crown, earned him multiple nominations and awards. The show was a Netflix original by Left Bank Pictures and Sony Pictures Television. He won a Primetime Emmy Award, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and a Critics' Choice Television Award. He was also nominated at the Golden Globe Awards and at the British Academy Television Awards for his outstanding performance in the series. In the 2011 science fiction film, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, he portrayed the character of Charles Rodman, the mentally troubled father of James Franco's character. Time flies quickly. He is old. Now he is 75 years old. And the state of health also deteriorates over the years. At the end, I wish you all a lot of joy in life. Find yourself the most meaningful things. Since we only have once to live, thank you.